Glory goes, little hope of bigger dreams Down, singing louder than the crowd Get up with me this morning. Hi, baby. Show them your new collar. See, I got a new pink collar from my dad yesterday. And this little lump over here, I think, is. Tom, are you under there? Oh, hi! You are under there. Oh, you're toasty. Okay, I'm sorry to disturb you. Yeah, you're so toasty, huh, buddy? Yeah. Like lemonade, we both know it's bittersweet. Ah, this sourness will bite your tongue. No one is forever young. I'm having some raspberries, obviously for zero. This is my sausage hash brown meal prep that I did last week. It's one of my last pieces, so I wanted to finish that up. It's so good. If you haven't seen last week's meal prep, I'll link it down below for you. This breakfast recipe is amazing. Troy has loved it. He has been eating it all week as well. And then I decided to go ahead and have a cup of tea. So I'm using this Prosperity, tea, and this is the best day ever tea. I'll tell you guys all about this tea when I finish my breakfast, but it's amazing. I have three different flavors. I can't wait to share it with you. And then I just went ahead and boiled the water in my little teapot here. I bought this on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys as well. But that is my breakfast. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. Good morning, guys. I am just finishing up my tea from breakfast. So delicious. I will definitely tell you guys about this tea. But before I do, I have been getting a lot of questions on my collagen. So the collagen that I showed you in the beginning of today's video that I put in my coffee every single morning, a lot of you have been reaching out and asking me why I've been using this collagen versus Vital Proteins collagen. So I wanted to show you the collagen and tell you why I transitioned over from Vital Proteins to the collagen for her brand. So the collagen I use every single day is the collagen for her collagen peptide powder. It is unflavored. It has 10 grams of protein per scoop and it has 40 calories. So it's very comparable calorie and protein wise to the Vital Proteins. One thing about this collagen that I like better and one of the reasons I've switched over is I feel like this dissolves much better than Vital Proteins. Now Vital Proteins dissolves great in hot water, but you can actually dissolve this in cold water and when you put this in a blended drink, it doesn't foam up. I was finding with Vital Proteins that when you put this in a protein shake or smoothie, it would become really foamy and I didn't really like that. This one does not do that. But the main reason that I switched over is because this collagen was made for women. And anytime that I can purchase from a small business and get a product that's made specifically for a woman's body, I find it to be much more effective than more of a generic product like the Vital Proteins. I've noticed a huge difference in my hair, my nails, my skin, my recovery time from working out. Collagen is really good for your bones, your lig ligaments, your tendons, your muscles. And I'm just finding with the collagen for her that I'm getting more benefits from it than I did for Vital Proteins. And that's because, again, it's made for women. It's made for my body. And I just feel really good supporting a small business. Price point for this is about the same as Vital Proteins, a little bit less if you're not a member at Costco. But that's the main reason that I switched over to taking the unflavored collagen. But I also take their beauty 
beauty collagen. And this is a marine collagen beauty blend that has biotin, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C. So biotin is really good for hair, skin, and nails. Hyaluronic acid is really good for your skin. It plumps your skin, makes it feel soft and plumped and moisturized. And then vitamin C is also good for your immune system as well as your skin, your hair, and your nails. All of the ingredients in here are 100% natural. It dissolves really well, equally as well as the unflavored. So sometimes I will use just the beauty, sometimes I'll use just the unflavored, but most days I put both into my coffee every morning. So this one, really good for hair, skin, and nails. This one, also good for hair, skin, and nails, but also really helps with muscle recovery, ligaments, bone density, etc. So this has been my collagen of choice, the collagen for her. It's the one I continue to use and continue to purchase I always have it linked in my description box, so I'll make sure I pop it to the top of the description box for you. But I hope that answers your questions as to why I switched over to the collagen for her. I love that it's made for a woman's body. I want to share with you guys this new brand of tea that I've recently discovered that I have been loving. It's called Prospera Tea, T-E-A, which I think is super cute, super fun pun on prosperity. There are 10 different kinds of tea in this tea line. Again, this is called Prospera tea and the one that I use today is the best day ever and this is their uplifting tea. So what's in here is orange, goji berry, and peppermint. So it has that orangey kind of citrus vibe with that back end note of peppermint. It's incredibly delicious. I really like this brand because it is all natural and the tea leaves are sourced ethically and from sustainable sources. Prosperity opts for flavorful plants and botanicals to boost your energy and spirit as opposed to things like heavy amounts of caffeine and synthetic flavorings. The teas are infused with premium plants, roots, flowers, stems, and spices that are known all over the world for their positive benefit for wellness. Prosperity hand crafts and blends their botanical teas specifically for individual functional benefits. So you can nurture your body and mind every time you reach for a delicious cup of the small batch premium teas. And like I said, they have 10 different tea options. Again, this is the best day ever. This one I like to have in the morning. It just energizes me and gets my day off to the right start. I love the packaging. I think it's so sleek and beautiful. And I love that it's in a cylinder because it's very easy to stack and store. It smells so incredible. So what I do is I open up the bag that comes in the container and then I just put the loose bags of tea in there for storage. Pop on the lid. It's a nice fit. It does not come off. And like I said, you can stack these up for storage. So I wanted to show you guys the three teas that I have and I'll tell you about the other seven blends that Prosperity has. I also picked up the Dreamland tea and this one is the Sleepy Tea. This is a great way to fall asleep and stay asleep if you don't want to take sleep supplements. And this particular one is Lavender peppermint and licorice and I love licorice. I love licorice scented things, licorice flavored things. So I'm hoping that the licorice is front and center. I haven't tried this. I actually just got this. Oh, it smells so good. So, so the ingredients in this tea is going to help you fall asleep and again, stay asleep. You also get 24 of the pyramid type tea bags in this one. And this one has apple lavender florets, fennel seed, licorice root, chamomile, peppermint, St. John's wort, lemon balm, valerian, and natural flavors. I'm very, very excited to try this. I'm going to use this one tonight. And then I also picked this one up. And as you know, if you watch all my videos, I just finished my monthly cycle. This tea saved me. This is their PMS blend of tea, and this is for mood swings and just overall PMS horrible symptoms. The main notes in this one, rose, rubios, and spearmint. Again, 24 pyramid style bags. This one has peppermint, spearmint, rose hip, ginger root, cinnamon bark, rubios, rose petals, calendula petals, asmothus petals, and sunflower petals. So this is more of a flowery kind of herbaly tea. It tastes really good. And like I said, this saved me. Every time I felt that I was having some PMS symptoms or feeling a mood sweet coming on, or even just before bed, I would have a cup of this and it just kind of made me feel better. It just made my PMS symptoms feel a little bit more manageable. So those are the three teas that I picked up. Let me go ahead 
and pull up all the different teas here on their website. So they have a detox tea that is San Sencha, Matcha, and Oolong. That one sounds really good. I'm probably going to pick that one up. They have a Slim Tea. Now, I was going to get this one, but it was sold out at the time. It is not now. And that one is Green Tea, Rose Hip, and Orange Peel. Obviously, a tea isn't going to make you lose weight, but it would be a good supplement to a healthy diet. They have Good Health, which is ashwagandha, pomegranate, and mallow flower. They have De-Stress, which is another one I'm interested in. This is valerian, cinnamon, and chamomile. Focus, which is ginkgo, blackcurrant, and rosemary. And At Peace, which is chamomile, jasmine, and lavender. That one sounds really good if you're feeling anxiety or stress. And then this is another good one, especially at, with the state of our world. This is the Super Immunity, and it's echinacea, peppermint, and cardamom. So they have all those different teas absolutely delicious. My new favorite tea blend. I'm very particular on my teas. I don't want the leftover stuff swept up off the floor. That's what they say is in teas like Lipton and some of those other store brand teas. So I'm excited to have a healthy, high quality tea at an affordable price. I will go ahead and link Prosperity down below for you with a discount. They do have free shipping on their website with a certain order amount but I was able to secure a discount, so I'll put that down below for you guys. Highly recommend if you're a tea drinker, if you wanna be a tea drinker, or if you have symptoms that some of these teas would help with. This brand so far is my all-time favorite. Morning snack time. We're making it simple today. I'm going to have one of my Good Culture Whole Milk Cottage Cheese Cups. I put a little bit of pepper on this. Delicious. And then I'm having the Brew Doctor Island Mango Kombucha. 70 calories for the can. WW counts this as three points. I count this as one point. And then the points for the cottage cheese is three points. So my morning snack is quick, simple, four points. For tonight's dinner, I know it's only noon, but we're getting started on dinner. We're gonna pop this in our crock pot. We're doing the Pioneer Woman Chili. I am so excited for this. I have heard rave, rave reviews about this recipe. So let me show you everything that you're going to need. First, you're going to need masa, two pounds of 96% extra lean ground beef, dark red or light red kidney beans, pinto beans, eight ounces of tomato sauce, salt, cayenne pepper, chili powder, cumin, and oregano, and then the recipe also calls for minced garlic, which I am out of, so I'm going to omit that. The first thing I'm going to do is brown both pounds of ground beef on the stove, drain any excess grease. Once the ground beef is completely cooked through, we're adding in eight ounces of tomato sauce. And this is also where you'll add in your garlic, but since I don't have any minced garlic, I'm going to add in just a little bit of garlic powder. Stir to combine, reduce the heat, and allow it to simmer for just a couple of minutes. Now we're going to add in the rest of our spices. So I'm adding just the tiniest bit of cayenne pepper because we do not like our food super spicy. Chili powder, cumin, oregano, and salt. And then go ahead and stir to combine before we transfer into the crock pot. So to my bowl here, I added half of a cup of that masa and then some water and I'm just stirring to combine this before adding this in with the ground beef. We're going to stir to mix the masa in with the ground beef. And then I'm adding in my can of drained and rinsed kidney and pinto beans. And again, stir that together. So here is what the mixture looks like at any point during the cooking process. You can always add in additional masa or additional water to get the right consistency. But I'm just going to put this on low for about four hours. You can cook this all day if you would like. We're gonna start with four hours. It may actually be even longer since it is only about 12.15 and we won't eat till probably five or so tonight. So I'm going to set this to low. Why don't you have a sense of personal space, Mr. Palmer? Palmer. <laughs> Palmer, what is this? What is that on the floor? Why is there a stick on the floor in the house? Where's your stick? That belongs outside, pumpkin. Yeah, it does. Where's your stick? It belongs outside. Palmer brought a stick in the house. That belongs outside. 
So here's my lunch for today. It is quick, it is simple. I'm swamped today between doing my meal prep. I had three Zoom calls today that I'm making my lunch super easy. So what I'm having here is one of the Hawaiian pineapple roll-ups that I made for Troy's lunch. I talked to you guys in my grocery haul about buying the ham and the crescent roll dough and pineapple and cheese for the roll-ups. So it made several, so I'm just going to have one of those for my lunch. I will write out the recipe down in the description box for you. It's full fat cheese, it's full fat crescent roll dough, but they're really, really delicious. Troy said they're amazing. So I'm just going to have one of those. I have an Oikos triple zero in mixed berry topped with a couple tablespoons of my purely Elizabeth granola. I do not count points for granola. And then I'm having one of the Choco Love peanut butters. So you guys know how much I love the pumpkin spice. Well, I had bought a bag of the 55% dark chocolate peanut butter. I don't like these as much as the pumpkin spice, but they're still really, really good. It is two points for the little chocolate. So I'll go ahead and put the points and calories here on the screen for my quick and simple lunch. Diesel, Diesel, you're in the same place as you were earlier. Palmer, hey, your stick needs to go out. And little Miss Lola, if you can see her, she's all sprawled out in bed. You guys are the laziest dogs ever. Yeah. Palmer, Palmer, can we bring that bone back out? Can we, hey, Palmer, can we bring your stick back outside? Can we bring that back out? No, sticks go outside, buddy. So the new floors are in. They're done. Thank goodness that was quite the long project we found all sorts of paraphernalia yesterday when we're cleaning up we found a razor blade in our storage unit on the floor and we were pretty clear to the contractors to pick everything up because palmer eats everything we couldn't be happier that this project is over and in fact troy and i spent 12 hours on saturday cleaning and organizing this house putting things back together i'm actually going to mop right now to get everything done but it was a huge project my arms are still sore we i had 12,000 steps just in my house that day, but it's done. It's, it's done and I want to show you guys quickly the finished product. So you guys saw the living room. I showed you kind of the main area of the house already, but I wanted to show you guys the bathroom. So the floors in the guest bathroom are done. I don't want to turn the light on um, because it makes everything really, really yellowed, but we did get a new toilet, a taller toilet. We did get a new vanity and you can see that it has a really nice top. And then we did a quick little border of subway tile. We also bought a new mirror and it matches really well with all the frames of our artwork. And the walls of this bathroom are green, so that is done. That was quite the project, but it looks so nice. And the newer updated vanity looks incredible. And then obviously the kitchen is done. The laundry area is done. Last time I showed you guys that, that wasn't quite done. Our hallway is done. Our hallway looks so much larger with this flooring because it's running horizontal. And then Troy's bathroom is also done. And it just looks like a whole new bathroom. He did get a new taller toilet. You can see that his decor in here is more rustic. So the floor just ties in so nicely. It looks really good with all of his decor in here. And it's just much nicer than the kind of mismatched tile that we had. And our storage room is done. This is where we spent a lot of time on Saturday, just kind of getting it reorganized. So this room had really old, dingy carpet. So we put the floor in here. Not that anybody uses this room other than for storage, but it's just as easier to keep it clean. We did kind of reorganize how we did our shelving. And then we put bins in the middle and the camping, Christmas, random holidays like Halloween and fall. And then we had put another rack on that wall. And then we did end up buying a fourth rack, which isn't full, which is a good thing for this wall over here. And then I remember showing you guys that kind of weird space. We basically left that the exact same, but we did put the flooring in there. And then this room in my office has larger molding. We did get all new molding in our entire house, which was well needed. This house was built in 2004 and the molding was original. And just having dogs and everything, it was just time to get the molding replaced. You just couldn't get it clean anymore. And the mud room also looks absolutely amazing with the new floor. We really, really like it. It just brightens up the space. It makes it much easier to clean. That's the door to our garage. So this room actually gets a lot of use. It's where the dogs go in and out. 
So we really truly couldn't be happier with how it turned out. It was just quite the process. So here is my dinner for tonight. This is that Pioneer Woman chili. The entire crock pot made six servings. So this is one sixth of the chili. It is going to be three points on the blue and purple plan, six on the green plan. It is 340 calories per serving because you don't have to count the beans. It makes it pretty low points, but pretty hefty in calories. So this is actually a great option to reach your calories on WW. I did top it with just a tiny bit of this reduced fat Mexican cheese. And then I have a couple of saltine crackers. So this is going to be tonight's dinner. So here's what I'm having for dessert tonight. I'm going to have a serving of the Trader Joe's maple and sea salt kettle corn. This is so good. It's one and a half cups for a serving. It's absolutely incredible. It's seasonal. So if you love maple and sea salt and kettle corn, definitely get your hands on this. Cannot wait to dig in. This is going to be my final Set meal of the day. Lemonade. We both know it's bittersweet. joining me on this week's what I eat in a day. It was so fun to spend the day with you guys and don't forget that there will not be a grocery haul or a meal prep this coming up week because again I will be in San Diego. I'll make sure that I post something in the community tab as well just to remind you guys but if you enjoyed this what I eat in a day don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and it only takes a second and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you never miss a future upload. We do what I eat in a days every single Wednesday and I do upload five days a week. Check out the description box down below for the recipe ebooks, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to everything I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things. And of course my Facebook group, head on over, join us there. We would love to have you. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.